All right, YouTube, it's time to talk about Obamagate, the idea that uh, Obama may have wiretapped Trump Tower, so to speak, uh, during the election. Possible, uh, deeply disturbing if true, but I think this relates to something else. Uh, this is something that Snowden actually discussed quite a few years ago uh, during the NSA revelations. Of course, you'll remember, uh, if, you, if you studied what was going on at the time, Snowden said, uh, hey, uh, mass domestic surveillance is going on. And Clapper and some of these under other individuals came before Congress and said, yes, uh, we conduct surveillance, but it's only metadata, it's not actual content, number one. Number two, it only pertains to people in the U.S. who are communicating with people that we're already conducting surveillance on overseas, you know, you know Osama bin Laden or something like that. Uh, it turned out, of course, that was a lie. They lied to Congress when they said that. It was not just metadata. It was actual content. They said, okay, okay, yeah, it's, it's actual content, but again, we're all, it's only being gathered if you're talking to somebody overseas who are already watching, and there's no other way to gather that material. On We're not targeting the, you know, the U.S. citizen involved. We're targeting the other person, but yeah, because they're communicating with them, it's going to get swept up. Then Snowden comes out, releases more material, we find out that's a lie too. It's also, it's not limited to just, oh, you know, text messages or something. It's also emails, it's any other electronic correspondence, internet-wide. No, it's literally any way you could communicate with a person at distance. It's being gathered. We find out then, it's not just people communicating overseas. They say, okay, okay, yeah, we got some targets in the U.S. We're also conducting mass surveillance on them. Then we find out it's basically everyone. So for quite some number of years, the U.S. government, through its unconstitutional uh, mass surveillance program delegated to certain uh, bureaus, has been collecting basically every bit of electronic correspondence sent and received anywhere in the U.S., anywhere in any participating nation. Ultimately, you'd probably have to be in like China with an intranet or North Korea or something like that to not be subject to their surveillance. And of course, if you're there, you're being watched at all times anyway, and they're probably, uh, you know, red red Chinese G-men style espionage agents watching you to make sure you're loyal too. It's even more draconian. So you're under surveillance. Uh, whoever's watching this, wherever in the world you happen to be, yeah, uh, people are watching everything that you say as part of their automated systems. They're sort of experiment into dumbing down the population further. So I think Trump may be just relying upon the fact that that's true because nobody can say it's a lie that people are paying attention to what goes on at Trump Tower. It's not like he wouldn't be uh, under constant surveillance there too, especially when Trump is aware, of course, Sessions and others have communicated with Russia. Now, I don't see this as a problem. I say, well, no fucking shit Jeff Sessions and these other people are going to be conducting some sort of diplomacy with, with people from other countries. If this were a, a diplomat from France, if this were the ambassador of Peru, would people at CNN or Hillary Clinton or, or Chuck Schumer or any of these, would they care? They wouldn't fucking care. It's a normal thing that happens in coming administrations, whether they think they're going to get elected or not. Yeah, they're going to hold discourse with people in other countries. I don't see anybody complaining about Trump hanging around with Nigel Farage. They may say, oh, that evil UK imperialist, but they don't claim that it's part of some treasonous plot to overthrow the US government in favor of like a British monarchist regime or something like that. No, it's only Russia. Only Russia appears to matter to them. Oh, you talked, you talked to the, the Shah, you talked to the Saudi Arabians, Hillary? That's not a problem. It's okay for you to take their money. There's no problem there. Russia, oh, spooky dooky, commies, reds under the bed and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, what I see here is stupidity, number one, because people are holding Trump and in his communication with one specific state to an entirely different standard than they hold his campaign or anybody else's campaign or administration in their communications with any other group of people in the world. China, no problem. Hell, they don't care if you talk to Kim Jong-un as long as it's not Vladimir Putin. It's the same shit that we've already gone through in the 50s and the 60s. Oh, you're a secret commie because you talked to that Russian immigrant over there or something like that. Oh, Trump had a family of Russian immigrants living in Trump Tower 20 years ago? Oh, shit. 
Must have been they were espionage agents. This is some spy versus spy stuff right here. But Trump doesn't really have to worry when he makes these claims because he was being wiretapped. Oh, it's, it's certain that he was because we're all being wiretapped and he happened to be, of course, totally outside of politics, a private citizen at the time. Yeah, every guest that stayed at a Trump Tower, yeah, their phone calls are on record in some NSA server somewhere. Trump's phone calls are on record in an NSA server somewhere, probably shared at this point, let's face it, through uh, Obama's crap with every other intelligence agency in the Western world, and probably with the Russian intelligence agencies too. This is the problem with mass surveillance. This is the problem that Snowden identified. This is the problem that people who thought they, it was an actual scandal identified. Oh, well, wouldn't this allow any specific political administration to conduct surveillance specifically on political targets. Wouldn't it allow them to really fuck with a, a Republican system of government? Yeah, and I think that's what we might be seeing. I think Trump's claim makes more sense in this context. Yeah, he's being wiretapped. Everything he says can and will be used against him sort of stuff, which is why he mystically referred uh, to the idea of using uh, paper-carrying couriers instead of using electronic communication whenever possible why he appears in some cases to spurn uh, uh, conducting private business through electronic means and essentially uses that just to tweet or make a YouTube video or something like that. I think we've identified the problem why. I think Trump knew this was going on a long time ago, saw it as a problem. It might have something to do with why he decided to run in the first place. Hopefully this means he headhunts after the NSA and gets rid of their mass surveillance program. I'm not going to hold out a great deal of hope. Uh, especially when I see poor Rand having to run around trying to find the new Obamacare bill or whatever the fuck it is. I don't hold out a great deal of hope that he'll actually do that. Maybe some mild reform, again, sort of a band-aid on a gaping wound like we've already got. Uh, but I can hope. A person can hope that it'll actually get accomplished. It's expensive, doesn't stop terrorist attacks. It's just a form of domestic espionage on the entire population. But he is right. His claim is 100% true. Whether it's targeted or not, whether it was used for political motives during the campaign or not, remains to be seen, and even if it happened, we may not be able to prove that it happened. But it's true that he was being spied upon, because every U.S. citizen is being spied upon, with the exception, perhaps, of a few people who are very, very well politically connected, maybe a George Soros or something like that. And then even those who have probably uh, managed to escape from domestic surveillance, they're still getting spied on by foreign regimes anyway. Of course, Hillary Clinton, it turns out, was sending like nuclear secrets over her private email and so forth. Nobody's talking about that. No, they only want to talk about how Trump is a fascist or something like that. Uh, so yeah, oh, Obamagate, it looks like Obama may very well have misused his political powers. I I'm going to tend to assume that it's probably, there's a good chance it's true. Yeah, because it only makes sense. Why wouldn't he? You're, you're the president. You have control of all of these agencies that gather all this material. How is it not within your executive authority with a bureau that's, you know, more or less under your direct control at your beck and call because you're putting the person in who heads it? Isn't it easy for him to say, hey, Clapper, or hey, uh, whoever heads any of these agencies, I need some files on this person here. Oh, Mr. President, wouldn't that be illegal? It doesn't matter. I'm the fucking president of the United States. Now get me the information or you're canned. Well, I, that's a short conversation. It's perfectly within the capability of somebody in a position like that to do. And where there's the possibility to misuse power, it will be misused, quite honestly. We can't look at Obama or, or Trump, honestly, or anybody else say, oh, yeah, they have noble intentions in mind. We should unquestioningly obey and think that they're always going to do what they think is right. You know, even if they make a mistake, at least they're trying to be right or something like that, trying to be moral. That's not necessarily the way that it works. Be a better world if it was, but it's not exactly what happens. I think it's perfectly feasible to say that Obama made use of domestic surveillance programs that got exposed years ago in which all Americans are wiretapped, every email they send, every text message, phone call, every bit of correspondence on Facebook, everything internet-wide, everything on any electronic device is stored indefinitely by the NSA. The only difference now is that they have to go through a private server. Now they make the companies store that data 
at great expense to them. Oh, if you want to conduct business, if you want to be an internet service provider, you're going to have to fucking buy some new servers, essentially. Which is the most retarded thing, the most retarded possible fix they could have possibly used. Thank you, people like Ted Cruz. Thank you, Bitch McConnell and all of these other assholes in our government. <clears throat> of course he was being spied on. He was a private citizen at the time. We're all being spied on. That's the point. That's why we need to dismantle the NSA. We don't need a band-aid on a gaping wound. We need to simply get rid of this crap altogether. It's not necessary. It doesn't make any sense. It's unconstitutional. It's ineffective for the stated missions of these programs anyway. And it causes problems like this, where you have to worry about the integrity of your elections because a sitting president or a, a senator, you know, who's been there for 20 years or something can conduct espionage through these groups on people who might challenge their positions of power or the power of their political movement or the power of their inner circle or somebody who they simply happen to favor. They can essentially make and break kings using such a program and nobody even batted an eyelash when it was exposed that this was going on. They said, oh, well, that's regrettable. And then they went back to sipping their tea, essentially. And that's not the response they should have had. They should have they should have been completely outraged that this was going on in our country, supposedly free people who have the right to privacy. Well, the Fourth Amendment's basically non-existent at that point. It's a complete and utter violation of the Fourth Amendment. The fact that it's not actively being looked through all the time, oh, just trust us. Well, just trust us doesn't work in a legal sense, number one. And number two, it doesn't matter. You're still conducting espionage, whether or not it's just sort of being rooted through by some bot, by some automated system, or whether you have human agents looking through it all, doesn't make a difference. It literally doesn't matter. It's going on, Trump is right, whether he's right about there being a specific political motive or Obama himself ordering such a thing to happen. Yeah, the data is there. It's certainly there. This is why Clinton shouldn't have gotten away with what she was doing with a private server. All those emails are stored somewhere. All that correspondence is on file. They didn't have to take uh, months and months to look through it. It should have been easy for them. Should have been very, very easy for the FBI to look through that data. They could have just gone to the NSA and said, hey, you've got everything Hillary Clinton has sent or received in the last 15 years. We want it. We need to go through that for our own reasons. They could have done that. Instead, they chose to go the hard way around uh, forensically examine her server and all this other crap that they pretended that they had to do. No, they didn't. It's all on file. It's all there. It should have been very, very easy. Call up the NSA. Oh, my hard drive just crashed. I need backups of everything I've got on my computer because you know what? They probably have it. Yeah, they have Trump's correspondence. If he was corresponding electronically or on the phone with anybody, they've got it. It's there. It wouldn't be that hard for Obama to say, yeah, I need to, I need to listen to his phone calls for my own personal reasons or something like that. It wouldn't be hard. And then he could cover his tracks quite easily. By the way, Trump would never be able to dig up evidence that it even happened. It would explain a lot of what's going on right now in the corporate media, how they're getting all these leaked details and so forth. And then it also helps explain why Valerie Jarrett has suddenly and inexplicably moved in with the Obamas. It's not strange at all. It's not strange to have somebody who's not related to you at all, who's basically a, politically com a political confidant, move into your home with your wife and kids. There's nothing strange going on here. It could, it's not for political reasons, it's just having orgies. You know, Michelle wanted to have a three-way, and Obama thought Valerie Jarrett was hot or something. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe. On the side, who knows? No, it's for political reasons. What do you think those political reasons are? It doesn't take a genius to figure out what's going on there. That's about all. Peace out.